Hello, how are you all doing? This is Jay Kells. I'm back. So now today I'm going to show you all how to do a uh, five minute quick style. This is my go to for when days like this happen where like I didn't really feel like taking care of it the night before and I wake up like this or sometimes I, I still have my twist in and I take a shower. A, extremely too hot and B, way too long so see my hair gets wet from the, the the water in the shower the humidity and then i take my twist out and it look like this and i get mad at myself but the shower felt good so anyway this is going to be a really quick video because this is one of my go-to styles like literally like if i have to go to work or anywhere where i have to go quick and i need a quick do so this is going to be like a little i like this one this is going to be like a mohawk um with a little hump now, going to take our well first let me show you everything I'm using because I'm gonna try to go quick for you so I might forget to tell you so I have my regular uh, comb that I used to part I am going to use my pick today finally I'm going to use the eco styling gel as well I am going to put a tad bit of avocado oil in my hair any oil is fine but I've already used avocado already so avocado oil I'm going to use some of the uh, jam extreme hold jam and edge control uh the cream of nature perfect edge <laughs> okay and faithfully our butterfly hair clip the style will not be complete without the butterfly hair clip if you like me have thick hair the color of the clip does not really matter i mean i like to switch stuff up anyway but your hair is so thick it's not going to be seen it's just going to hold it into place i also have bobby pins you will need some of these it depends on um, you, how tight you want it to look. How, I don't know how many you're going to need. Sometimes I only use like six. Sometimes I need eight. Sometimes I put 12. I don't know. So just have your bobby pins. You know how to use you about 150. In a week, you have five anyway. <laughs> um, and I'm also going to use, I actually pulled out the brush for my edges today. Uh, before I started the video, last time I used my toothbrush. Not the one I brush my teeth with, my toothbrush for my hair for my edges, but this is the brush I normally use. Um, and then I have my regular brush. All right, so now that that's out of the way, I'll go ahead and show you how I uh, part my hair. And again, this is when you have a twist out. Um, I guess you don't have to have a twist out. Uh, when you wash your hair, you're just looking for a quick style, quick go to style. What you're going to do is you pay attention to the arches. Um, I always like to have visuals. Um, then that way it'll go ahead and be even for you. So I'm going to put a part here and here. Okay. Alrighty. And I'm going to put a part here. Alrighty. And it depends on you on how uh, big and high you want your uh, hump to go. But the way I do it, um, I leave... I make a quite, it's probably like a good two inches, and I'm going to show you why. No, I do not like those big, severe uh, humps. Don't worry, ladies. I'm going to show you something. <laughs> I'm going to show you something. You probably think I'm crazy right now. All righty. So, I'm going to go ahead and, oh, I need a clip. One moment. I need a clip. I'm back. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to clip this hair away really quick is the hair for the back I just want to get it out of the way because what I do is um, it does already have you know um, a little curl in there already but I'm going to take a little bit of the hair in the front maybe about a half inch part I'm gonna go ahead and do that here again one stroke when you do your parts try to just do one stroke it normally works out except when you go short like I did and it'll be straight so don't stress yourself out um don't stress yourself out all right I'm using one of these bobby pins and I'm just going to clip this back really quick so what I do with this hair here I uh put it in a twist and I'll sh at the end you'll see why it's in a twist okay 
as I'm going to put it, I'm going to use that to cover the front. It'll give it just some more dimension. Um, in the five minutes, it's already uh, pre-twist out, so it should, you know, your hair, it has memory, so it should um, twist itself fairly quickly by the time I'm finished. Okay. So just leave that twist there for now. And for the hair that you clip to the back, you're literally just going to bring it forward just so it's out of the way because this is all for later. So what I do is I just twist it all together so I can see and I clip it. Alrighty, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick it out a little bit. Um, I still want it to look like a twist out so I don't want to uh, I have again that 4C hair so if I pick it all the way then I'm just going to have a regular afro I do want some of that definition to stay from the twist out Just gonna, it's the first time I picked it since I think uh, I took the flat twist out because I never um, I, I rarely to ever pick my hair <laughs> okay so what we do here from here we're going to need to add a little oil. You don't, you don't necessarily have to add the oil. Again, I'm just one of those people that just like my hair to always look moist. So I don't need much. Um, just makes me feel better. Okay, so before I put the gel, I do go ahead and brush it a little bit. So I can already start seeing where it's going to go. Okay. And now what you're going to do, she's going to take a little bit of the, uh, it's like a medium size amount. It's a, it's a fair amount this time. About a quarter. Quarter in a dime. 35 still. <laughs> and I'm going to slick that on the M sides here. Okay. Now put some on the other side as well. brush it in and you see I'm sort of go ahead and I'm um, curving my brush as I brush it because I do want it to sort of go back that way and then I, my edges will already be smoothed down as well okay so now we're gonna use a little bit of the jam now this would be enough for both sides I believe I only use this for the center. It's on the side, but it's just the center. It just helps smooth it out some. Okay. I love this style. It looks so good and it's really quick to do. It's really, it's really, really easy. Okay. Yes, I did not really do anything here because that hump is going to be here and I'm going to play around with that. So um, I just don't even waste my time um putting gel and stuff on it because there's no telling what i'm going to end up doing with it <laughs> okay so now that's clipped back and what i'm going to do with this piece here i'm going to go ahead and brush it up to let's see the size here right here and i'm just going to bobby pin that right up to the side together there and I'll put one more okay and then on my left side So now for this part, again, it's going to be the hump. So what we're going to do is, I don't even tease my hair. It's thick enough. So uh, what I did was I just sort of twisted it, not even the two strand. I literally just uh, twirled it around like, like so. And I 
bend it and I tuck this piece inside. So it's like this. I come closer. See, so the end piece is not in the back, it's tucked underneath. So I twist it one more time for you. I turn it and it's like I flip it over and then I flip it like that. Okay. And I'll go ahead and I'll take a clip here. And back, forth, back. Alrighty, when you do clip it, you want the end of the bobby pin to face go backward because you don't want the pin poking out in the front. And now, see, this is the part you're going to be like, oh. So we're going to take this uh, two strand twist apart. Okay, and it's one. And what I like to do is I literally use it to cover. So you see how it just gives it a little bit more definition. It's not like that. And it, it does sort of match the back perfectly. Um, I don't know. I did it um, one day and I just fell in love with it. So again, when you know you have it all covered, you check your sides. You go ahead. And it's a light twist because you, want, you don't want it to be too tight. And then you just clip it back with your bobby pin. beautiful and to be secure I go ahead and put one more okay beautiful beautiful so this is how we look for now and now this is where we uh, go ahead and take our time and we do some touch-ups and this is the final look that's it literally it takes five minutes maybe 10 maybe 10 but that's it doesn't take 15 20 minutes i promise you that um and this is the final look so i hope you like it i like it i always like this hairstyle when i do it I always get a lot of compliments the back it should be all symmetrical and the side i was supposed to do the pivot 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 <laughs> I'm not a model. I have to start over here and do this side. Okay. And voila. If you liked my video, if you have any questions, uh, please comment below. If you just like it, tell me you like it. Tell me something. Again, this is Jay Kelly. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please hit subscribe now. Click the bell. Hit subscribe. Click the bell. Follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. Jay Kells. Hi. Right, have a good day. Thank you.